Hi, Laurie O'Donoghue here back again with another section on our hazardous chemicals management series of whiteboards. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about conducting a hazardous chemicals risk assessment. You'll have been through the initial process of determining whether or not a chemical is a hazardous chemical by looking at your safety data sheets or the labels on the container of the hazardous chemical. From that you need to determine whether or not and how you're going to deal with it in the workplace and you need to do a risk assessment. Now the risk assessment will be relevant to the risk associated with that substance that you are using in the workplace. The detail, the recording will be relevant to that risk. You might be do a basic risk assessment and you may do a very detailed risk assessment. Now that brings me to who's going to actually do the risk assessment. Can you do it internally? Does the person have the expertise to do that risk assessment? And in many cases, it can be done internally. It can be done by reading the safety data sheet and completing a risk assessment form. A sample risk assessment is available with this video, which you can use. There will be, however, times when you need to go and get professional help. You may, be able, may need to go to an occupational hygienist who will come in and take measurements, evaluate what the exposure is to your workers and give you with some advice and guidance on how you are going to manage that particular substance or chemical. I'm talking today about what you would do. The professional, the occupational hygienist, would follow the same process and give you a report and a risk assessment as part of their reporting procedure. First thing we need to do is review the information. Have we got a safety data sheet on that particular substance? We may need to look at other information such as has there been any incidents relevant to this particular substance? Any exposure or any information from your industry group in relation to this substance? So you do some review of information about the hazardous chemical. We then look at how we are going to use the substance in the workplace. Is it going to be used inside? Is it going to be used outside? Is it going to be used all day? Is it only going to be used on small occasions? We then also consult and discuss with the people who might be using the substance. That might be your contractors, might be your workers. It may be that you need to talk to the health and safety reps about it, but you need to consult through the process of doing this risk assessment. Now actually reviewing the information and consulting and assessing the risk will all be part of that same process. In assessing the risk, as I said, we've got to determine how it is going to be used. Is it going to be sprayed? Is it going to be put on with a paintbrush? Is it going to produce gases when it's drying? So how are you actually going to use the substance in the workplace? Where is it to be used? As I said before, is it going to be used internally? Is it going to be used externally? Is it going to be used in an environment where other people might be exposed? For example, is it going to be used in a school environment where school children might be exposed to the substance? So we need to determine where it is going to be used. We not only need to look at what the exposure is from our own workers' point of view, but we also need to look at exposure for other people, such as using a hazardous chemical, as I said, in a school, in a hospital, in a nursing home, something of those natures. What equipment is involved? As I said, is it going to be sprayed? Is it going to be put on with rollers? What type of equipment is going to be involved? What is the exposure potential? Are you going to be using it in very small amounts, in a well-ventilated area? Then the exposure to the workers may be minimal. However, if you're going to be using it in fairly large quantities in a very confined space area, then the risk level will increase or may increase depending on the substance. What control measures are you going to put in place? Do we need to put ventilation systems in place? Do we need to control and enclose the substance we're using? Do we need any monitoring? Do we need any health monitoring? Do we need to take some readings as to what workers are going to be exposed to in the workplace? All of those things will be taken care of when you do your risk assessment. And as I said, there is a sample risk assessment attached to this particular whiteboard session. Once we've done the risk assessment and we've determined that there is no immediate risk to workers, we may simply record that and follow the instructions on the safety data sheet or on the label. However, if there is a risk, then we may need to implement special controls, such as personal protective equipment, we may need to put ventilation in, we may have a special set of circumstances we require for that particular usage of that substance. If you like this video, then hit the like button below. Why not share this with your friends and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let me know what your thoughts are regarding these tips and if you are going to implement them. Thank you so much and I will see you on our next video.